This is example two of our mole conversion problems. You're asked to calculate the mass of a 35 liter sample of sulfur dioxide at standard temperature and pressure. Remember, standard temperature and pressure is abbreviated as STP. We can use a diagram like this for most simple mole conversion problems. It shows you how you can find the pathway from one quantity to another. And you should be able to draw something like this from memory. In this problem, we're given the liters of the gas at STP, and we're asked to find the mass, which is in grams. In the first step, we convert liters at STP to moles, and in the second step, we convert moles to grams. So we summarize our steps in a plan, liters to moles to grams. In step one, we convert liters of SO2 into moles. We start by writing 35.0 liters of SO2, Next, we add a conversion factor, which we can use to convert liters to moles. The unit we have is liters of SO2, so we want to cancel it. So we write it on the bottom of our conversion factor. And the unit we want from step one is moles. So we write that on the top of the conversion factor. We write a one by the mole. And it is known that the molar volume of an ideal gas at STP is 22.4 liters per mole. In chemistry 11, we assume that SO2 is an ideal gas, so we write 22.4 by the liters. In step two, we convert moles of SO2 into grams. So we set up another conversion factor. This time, we want to cancel out moles of SO2. So we write it on the bottom of the conversion factor. And we want to find the grams of SO2, so we write grams of SO2 on top. Again, we write a one by the mole, and in a conversion factor of moles to grams, we need to write the molar mass by the grams. We calculate the molar mass by starting with the atomic mass of one sulfur atom, 32.1 grams per mole, and add 2 times 16 for the two oxygen atoms, which gives us a molar mass of 64.1 grams per mole. So we write 64.1 by the grams of SO2. We now have all the conversion factors we need for steps 1 and 2. So we can cancel out the units liters of SO2 and the unit moles of SO2. And we're left with the unit grams of SO2, which is the unit we wanted. So the unit for the answer will be grams of SO2. So we take 35.0 divided by 22.4 times 64.1. And the calculator answer is 100.15625. But we need to round that to three significant figures. The best way to express this number to three significant figures is 1.00 times 10 squared grams of SO2. So this is our final answer.